walked here to shore because we could smell that there's a barbecue going on and we really we were really hungry and it smelled so good. And we just entered this place and this guy comes up and he just puts a beer in, in everyone's hand and we sit, they give us some chairs, we sit down and they hand us some chicken like in some weird bowl. It was so tasty and juicy. I guess they don't get really many tourists down here. Playa Chiquita is a tiny little village where we stopped on our way to the Samblas Islands. And before taking up anchor, Mary and me went exploring a little bit on the paddle boards. A bit too rolly for me. that I got to know in Cayman because Carl was at his private dock for some days had jumped on board of uh, Carl in Puerto Lindo and we buddy boated with Joanna from there to Playa Chiquita and from there on to Barnadoop in the East Lemons sailing on Joanna today just to check out um, the difference between the two boats and then all the way back there because Jojo actually needs a little bit more wind than Carl does. Carl loves this. This is great for Carl. He does like five, five run. He does like around five knots and it's perfect. It's nice to be back in the islands. It's really beautiful. I missed it a bit. East Lemons, and we're going here to Nabatu.
over to the neighboring island called Cambambia, where a Kuna family lives. They sell beautiful colorful molas, which are part of the traditional dress that the Kuna women wear. The molas are all handmade by sewing usually two to seven layers of different colored cloth together that will form a pattern in the end. And often it's displaying geometrical patterns or flowers or sea creatures or birds or something like that. Jeff only spent a couple of days on Carl and it was already time for him to leave just before a massive squall came rolling through the anchorage and Carl was doing some serious rodeo on the hook. solar panels. Um, I did this little calculation with a sheet like saying you know what kind of um, instruments do I have and how much um, how many amps per hour do they use. Then upon this calculation I decided I'm going to get two panels of size 120 watt uh, each and I'm gonna wire them parallel because I couldn't afford getting one of those nice what they call MPPT uh, controllers where you can actually wire the panels in series or get a bigger one so they have like the higher voltage. I got one of those normal, normal cheap controllers. Actually the whole manual's in Chinese. <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the old wire and put like a, I'm gonna wrap a line around it like a leading wire kind of thing. Uh, you can do that with wire or line. And then I'm gonna pull it out because it goes on through that stanchion that I have on the back. That's about it. And then I have to mount the panels on those Freshly welded uh, supports that Maria welded onto the boat, and then I I'm back to ecologically friendly power, which is awesome. cover is off and something is happening. Not really sure what, but it says charging. It says a rat thing for port and it says, what does that say? 611.8. What does that mean? You're telling me you haven't learned the Chinese thing yet? No, no, I didn't learn the Chinese yet. So why is it saying 611.8? Maybe it says 11.9. Maybe that thing is not a six, but something different. The panels are up and running. The only thing I have to do now is some fine tuning. I need to build a little box for the connection of the cables. So it's waterproof. And um, yeah, the whole manual was in Chinese, but I did find an English manual online, so that was good. And now I looked at all the display and went through all the things. And it seems to be working. Well, let's see what it says tomorrow. And free power! Yahoo! some more refit projects on the list before crossing the Panama Canal, but more about that next week.